Welcome back to Animator. This is Fredo uh, again. Uh, so in this uh, video, I will uh, show uh, some of the advanced features of uh, movement along the path. So here is the the animation uh, as we have seen uh, in the introduction. So let's take uh, one of the sequences. So when you over uh, over a sequence in the timeline you see uh, now the uh, highlight of the movement so let's take uh, this one and to see the additional features use this uh, small arrow to expand uh, the button palette so here you see additional options uh, you can shrink or expand the palette and the palette will stay uh, like this until uh, you change its state so next time you open it it will be like this okay so you have three groups of uh, options one is distance and speed control as well as uh, as well as uh, lap control uh, corners is, uh, is to specify how the object will turn uh, at the vertice of the curve and uh, alignment so alignment uh, is relatively uh, straightforward uh, if you press X you will align the X axis of the object with the curve if you press Y you do uh, the same the movement of the object is based on uh, the animation uh, uh, the the point of contact okay so uh, if you put it at the center for example it's easier to see that the orientation okay is uh, really along the the path you can use uh, the arrow uh, right for x uh, if you press twice you get minus x, the reverse of uh, the x-axis ok, up for z, uh, right for uh, y and if you want no uh, speci special uh, alignment just press the down arrow ok so for corners uh, I need to uh, show you on, uh, on with this object uh, however, this object is attached to the to the animation uh, here along this green path, so I need to detach it first. So let's do that. So let's take the animation. So just press Control, you go temporarily into the selection mode and double click, and the object now is detached from uh, the movement as you can see ok so let's create a new movement select this object and we'll take this curve so let's put it on a path so that it's cleaner uh, to visualize so one uh, important uh, thing to 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 know is that when you put and especially when you put it on a path you put an object uh, try to avoid to put it at uh, a vertex because the alignment here uh, uh, is data i mean is not uh, is spe specific at the corner because this is a point of turn Okay, so if you play it like this, you see that the object along the line will be rotated. Okay, so always try to put it uh, at the, for example, at the center of the line, so that the object now will follow uh, the path more naturally. OK, so let's see the corner. So in automatic mode, you see that the object turns a little bit before the vertex. 
and uh, go straight a little bit after. In continuous mode, it turns continuously along the path. Sharp mode is the contrary, it turns suddenly at the corners. Now you can uh, specify uh, the way you want it to turn by using the radius. So the automatic mode uh, has computed a radius of 2.45 meters, uh, but the heuristic is what it is, so it may not be perfect. So the radius is basically the distance to uh, the vertex at which you start uh, to turn. So if, for example, you make it uh, smaller, so let's put one meter, then you see that the turn is sharper. If you put it uh, larger, let's uh, take uh, four meters, so you can type uh, the, I think the radius by uh, 4 followed by a star, so 4 star, ok, so if you put it at 4 meters, it turns long before. Finally, <coughs> distance, so here the distance which is indicated, 37.54 meter uh, is actually the distance, the length of, uh, of the uh, loop curve. Uh, if you change it, for example 20 meter, the path will be uh, shorter and you don't get uh, a full loop. You can go into a speed mode where you control and impose the speed. So here the speed is 2.5 meters per second. You can set uh, the speed, for example, to uh, f 3 meters. You see that the actual path is now uh, longer. And if you play the animation, the object will move at this uh, specified speed. Okay, you can set the speed uh, in the VCB uh, by just typing, uh, when you are in, in speed control mode, uh, by just typing uh, the value in a model unit. So if I want to go uh, 5 meters per second, just type 5. Okay, and now I go uh, a full loop plus a little bit. Okay. So actually one lap plus 0 0.07 uh, of, of a full lap. Okay, same thing in distance. If you type in the VCB 20, uh, meaning 20 meters, you can set uh, the distance. So lap control here you have a portion of the uh, loop curve. Uh, if you want to have a one full lap plus this portion, so just set the laps to one. And therefore, if I go back to the beginning, uh, the object will make one full lap plus half a, roughly half a lap. Here it is. If you want two or three laps, let's say. Okay. Ah, here two laps, three laps, and the rest. Okay. You can, of course, uh, change uh, the duration. 
uh, either by uh, clicking on it okay or by typing in the VCB uh, the time in second uh, followed by uh, S so if I type 10 S now uh, the duration is 10 10 seconds So I think uh, that's all for the the uh, advanced features. There may be some other uh, options. Uh, we'll see it probably in another uh, version. So thank you very much for your attention and uh, enjoy uh, SketchUp.